Good day and welcome to our first discussion on Lorna Goodison's poems. This video seeks to enlighten students about the thematic explorations, devices em employed, and poetic structures embedded in Goodison's poems. I am your presenter, Mrs. Anush Harrison Jackson. I trust you'll find this our discussion enlightening. The objectives of our discussion are as follows. To one, develop a comprehensive approach to unlocking Lorna Goodison's poems. Two, to examine the themes portrayed in her poems as they relate to traditional norms, modernity, womanhood, and colonization and its impact. Three, to discuss how structure and themes are aligned in assessing or explorations of womanhood. The first poem that we will be discussing is The Road of the Dread. The Road of the Dread by Lorna Goodison. That there road not be like any other black face road. It not have no definite color and it fence two side with live barbed wire. And no look for no milepost to measure your walking. And no take no stone as dead or familiar. For some time to pass a thing, you know as, call it stone again. And is a snake ready to squeeze you, kill you. Or is a dead man taking possession, steeze you. Then the place them you feel is resting place. Because time before you welcome like rain, go there again. Bad dog. Bad face, turn you to drive you underground when you have no light to walk. And you find say that many you meet who say them understand is only from them mouth them talk. One good thing though, that same treatment make you walk on tall distance for to continue you have to walk far, far away from the wicked. Pandis same road your yeah, sister. Sometimes you drink your salt sweat for water. For sure, say at least that no poison. And bread, you picture it and chew it accordingly. And sometimes you're surprised to know how oh, that full man belly. Some day no have no definite color. No beginning and no ending. It just name day or night as all your feel we call it. Then why I tread it brother? Make a, well make I tell you about the dear them when the father sent some little bird that swallow flute to thrill me and when him instruct the sun to smile upon me first and the sky calm like sea when it sleep and the breeze like a laugh follow me or the man find a stream that Pure like baby mine, and the water ease down your throat and quiet you inside. And better still when you meet another traveler, who have flour and you have water, and man and man make bread together. And then time day, the road turns straight, and sure like a young horse that can't tired, and you catch a glimpse of the end, through the water in your eye. I don't tell you what I spy, but if, but if, for that alone, I tread this road. Let us analyze and examine the poem. The title. When we examine the title of the poem, it is quite clear that the title may be viewed from two perspectives. Perspective number one. The road of the dread literally means the road that is often not taken because of the fear factor that is associated with this road. It is fearful, scary, atrocious, or dreadful. The title figuratively represents the road that is associated with colonization, slavery, enslavement, oppression, suppression, segregation. Hence, it symbolically represents that period in history that is often viewed as ghastly. It can symbolically mean the road of the dead. Dread, dead. 
It is important to note the key words that are used in each stanza. That the road no pave, no pave, suggests that the road is not smooth or asphalted. It is rough, it is hard, it is tough. Blackface, like any other blackface road, suggests racism or slavery, hence the term blackface. It it no have no definite color, no definite color, in that this road is for all, which may lead to the road that ends in debt, which is inevitable, or no definite color, as in the person is mulatto, and as a result of that, the person is neither black nor white. And it is fenced to side, fenced to side, such as segregation on both sides, black, and also on the side of the whites with live barbed wire live barbed wire implies that implies the possibility of debt if anyone dare cross over hence if a molotov or even a black person decide that they want to befriend a white it may result in debt It would seem like Lorna Goodison continues in the second stanza to look at the road as life's journey. In the second stanza, she speaks to the fact that do not look for any mileposts, or in other words, grand recognition to signify your achievement in life. That would measure your journey, whether it is worth continuing or not. And the techno stone as dead or familial means that do not judge or view a situation based on an occurrence in the past familiar as each experience is different. As did, presents the idea of perseverance that you should not give up on life's journey but continue regardless of difficulties. In the third stanza, Goodison alludes to the fact that appearance is sometimes very different from reality. Thus, she cautions the reader to be careful of persons who appear in various disguises. A dead man taking possessions tease you. Or a hypocritical person who claims to understand, you find say that many you meet who say them understand is only from their mouth and talk. These unfortunate situations, however, may cause you to journey to unknown and often rewarding places. Make you walk on tall distances. In the fourth stanza, she continues to imply that on this difficult road, you will endure much hardship. You drink your salt, sweat for water, but she believes that these sufferings would be worth it because you are still alive. For you're sure, say at least that no poison. She also suggests, suggests that it may be rewarding to be contented in your time of need and that little may be viewed as much. You're surprised to know oh, that full man belly. In the fifth answer, she implies that there will be days when you are somewhat uncertain. These days are long and tiring. There is no beginning and no ending, suggests that these days are lengthy due to the amount of work that needs to be done. However, your outlook on these days will determine how you perceive these days. Therefore, you will, you will determine how you feel for call it. In the sixth stanza, she answers the question that is on everyone's mind. Why do we continue to traverse on this road? She responds to this question by stating that though the road is difficult, it is not always so, as there are days when things are happy, when the father sends some little bird that swallow flute for trill me, and when he means struck the sun for smile upon me first, and the sky calm like sea when it sleeps. All the images in this stanza are delightful suggesting that the road of life is not always dark. In the seventh stanza, Lorna Goodison looks at the idea of compatibility on life's journey. When you meet another traveler who have flower 
and you have water, and man and man make bread together. This conveys the idea of marriage, compatibility, and union joined by purpose. She indicates that when this happens, then the road is no longer crooked but straight. Hence, you are able to build life together despite the difficulties you may face and you no longer fear the dread, dreaded road of death. The themes explored in this poem are as follows. Racism, segregation, life's journey, compatibility, debt, slavery, colonization, appearance versus reality. In this poem, Goodison utilizes many devices. Some of them are 1. Contrast 2. Imagery 3. Metaphor 4. Repetition 5. Rhetorical Questions 6. Simile 7. Personification Can you identify any other device? Are you able to cite an example of each device used in the poem? Examples of devices used. Contrast, no beginning, no end. Imagery, when the father sends some little bird. Metaphor, the road runs straight. Repetition, no and bad. Rhetorical question, then why I tread it brother and bread? Simile, the sky calm like sea or the man find a stream that pure like baby mine. Personification, the sun to smile upon me first. Theme and structure. Structure and themes are closely aligned in Goodison's poems. In this poem, she explores the journey of the black or mulatto woman who has to endure much hardship as a result of her color or lack of identity. No definite color. The woman who is neither black nor white, but based on societal restriction, has to take a side or position. She cautions women ag against those who may take advantage of them, the dead man who will tease you with his possessions. This speaks to the men who in society who are elderly, but take advantage of young ladies seeking to make a life for themselves. She cautions women to be strong, to be determined and to continue amidst life difficulties as there is a light at the end of the tunnel and the journey will be worthwhile when you find a companion who will lighten your load. This poem is written using a mixture of Creole and Standard English and this is significant as it speaks to the Caribbean experience, one that had to endure slavery, colonization and deprivation. As a result of slavery, there was segregation, and so we know that Lorna, in this poem, was speaking mainly to the black woman, or mulatto woman, who had to endure much. I trust that you have found this presentation enlightening. If there are any questions, please share them in the link below. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Blessings.